everyone so this is the second part of photosynthesis in the last video we learned about the basics and in this video we'll be dealing about the photosynthetic apparatus where where the photosynthesis occurs and then we would be learning about the photosynthetic pigment in detail so first of all let us look at the photosynthetic apparatus the photosynthetic apparatus is the chloroplast in the last video we learned about that it was the chlorophyll which was helping in the photosynthetic process so today first we learn about where chlorophyll is present and then we would learn about the chlorophyll in detail so let us understand what chloroplast is so the chloroplast it is the site where the chlorophyll is actually present it is the house of the chlorophyll which is the green pigment so the shape of the chloroplast is somewhat discoid or ellipsoidal this is the shape this is how the ellipsoidal shape looks like the size of the chloroplast is about 4 to 6 mu in length and the thickness is about 1 to 2 mu in length this mu is the unit of calculation for the size and the thickness of chloroplast and if we look at the structure of chloroplast we can see that it is a double membrane structure we'll understand about the structure by the help of a diagram in the next slide and also a point to remember is that each layer is about 50 angstrom in thickness and what it is made up of it is mainly made up of the lipid bilayer and the proteins so this is the structure of the chloroplast as you seen that these are the two layers which we just talked about the matrix of the chloroplast is known as the stroma and all in the matrix there is presence of lipid droplets starch granules and also ribosomes with and also there are presence of the grana what are granas the collection of all these stack like structure is known as grana but if we look at individual structure it is known as thylakoid these two granas are joined together by the help of stromal lamellae and the other name of stromal lamellae is freet laminae that is f r e t this is an additional information so let's move forward so now let us look at the photosynthetic pigments the three photosynthetic pigments are the chlorophyll carotenoids and the phycobilins let us look at the chlorophyll first so moving ahead of the sequence which we are following we understood about the chloroplast and now we learn about chlorophyll which is the actual green pigment in the leaves so if we look at the structure of chlorophyll we can see that it is a magnesium porphyrin compound we we'll understand about this structure by the help of a diagram and also it contains four pyrrole rings that are joined together by these ch bridges and there is presence of long chain of carbon atom which is known as phytol and these this chain is attached to the porphyrin ring at the fourth pyrrole ring for better understanding let us look at the structure so this is how the chlorophyll actually looks like this is the two main type of chlorophylls are chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b this is the magnesium center which we were talking about this is the phytol tail the magnesium center and the phytol tail these are the four pyrrole rings that we were talking about 1 2 3 and the fourth one the best there is presence of cho group at the third carbon of the second pyrrole ring in case of chlorophyll b and but in chlorophyll a there is presence of ch3 at the similar position so this is the only difference between the two structures so this is the derivation how the chlorophyll is derived from its precursor that is glutamate 
द ओनली इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग वी नीड टू रिमेंबर इन दिस पाथवे इज दैट वॉट इज द प्रीकर्स एंड द एंड रिजल्ट ऑफ इट सो दिस इज द मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला ऑफ द क्लोरोफिल ए एंड क्लोरोफिल बी इट लुक्स डिफिकल्ट टू रिमेंबर बट इफ यू ऑब्जर्व केयरफुली वी कैन सी दैट वी जस्ट नीड टू रिमेंबर द नंबर ऑफ hydrogen and the number of oxygen otherwise the other three molecule the other three atoms are in similar numbers in both the structures that is 55 4 and 1 in chlorophyll a we have 72 carbon 72 hydrogens and 5 oxygen and in case of chlorophyll b we have 70 hydrogens and 6 oxygen so this is the way in which the chlorophyll is formed it is the proto chlorophyll that gets converted into the chlorophyll by the help of light and two hydrogen atoms and also the enzyme which helps in the process is nadph proto chlorophyll oxido reductase it is asked in many competitive exams so it is good if we remember the details of this so let us look at the carotenoids now this is the second photosynthetic pigments so these pigments are mainly present in plants algae and the photosynthetic bacteria these are also known as secondary pigments why we are calling it secondary because they cannot transfer the energy directly rather they help in indirect energy transfer the main presence where we can find carotenoids are the bright color that we observe in the vegetables and the fruits that for example the bright tomatoes that we see are because of the presence of the carotenoids in them so carotenoids mainly include the carotenes and the xanthophylls the general formula for carotenes is c40 and h56 and for the xanthophylls it is the similar one only difference is that there is presence of two oxygen atoms also so two important additional information for the competitive exams is that it is the lycopene that is the chief pigment in the case of tomato plant that, which is the main reason for the uh, bright red color for the tomatoes and second one in the autumn we see the bright yellow or the orange color of the leaves it is because of that chlorophyll gets degraded which leads to the unmasking of the more stable carotenoid compounds which ultimately leads to the bright yellow color which we observe in the case of autumn season so these these were the two photosynthetic pigments let us look at the third photosynthetic pigment which is the phycobilins so the most important thing we have to remember about phycobilins are that they are, they occur only in the cyanobacteria that is the blue green algae and in the rhodophyta which is a class of algae the next thing we have to remember it that it is an open conjugated system of four pyrrol ring we just learned that even also the chlorophyll have pyrrol rings but that was a closed conjugated system so this is the difference between the two and the other difference is that in chlorophyll there was presence of magnesium but in case of phycobilins magnesium is absent and also there is no phytol tail which was a prominent structure found in the chlorophyll structure and the last thing about the phycobilins is that it is water soluble and also these are found in stoma what is stoma the mouth stoma that it was the matrix of the chloroplast structure which we have learned previously so with this we are come we are done with the photosynthetic pigments and also the photosynthetic apparatus in detail i hope the topic is clear to you and if you like this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any query regarding the topic please do let me know in the comment sections below and thank you so much for watching keep learning